Hi, it's always fun when a new company comes out with a new product announcement or even better comes out with like a teaser beforehand, like a, a couple of months or a couple of weeks before it's going to be actually released. They have a little teaser photo showing you like part of the product and wow, we're going to change the market and all that uh, sort of stuff. And it's good fun to like us nerds start salivating about trying to find out information like what's the model number? Can we uh, get the, what are the speculate about the features and the price and all sorts of stuff like that the holy grail of course is to get like a find a data sheet somewhere that's been leaked on some website and there's always a leak uh somewhere usually anyway tektronics i have announced that there a couple of days ago actually i missed this um they're releasing a new scope look at this come in june 4th and oh i post it down below engineers blah 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 they reckon they've consulted They've, they've asked like a hundred engineers, they've interviewed a hundred engineers what they want, uh, hundreds of interviews, <laughs> and uh, what they want in a new scope, and they've put this in this new scope apparently. So there's a few little uh, teasers of what the screen is like in here and, and stuff like that. And there's a photo, and I managed to find like some additional uh, photos down here. So it's like the nice new tall form factor thing um like the five series and the six series so you might go well and it's got multiple channels look you can see in here it's got at least six channels here screenshot from the video but it's got eight channels there um in the color palette and stuff like that so you know it's not going to be a low-end scope so i wouldn't get your hopes up but they do claim like for any budget and stuff at prices to fit most budgets <laughs> most company budgets yeah it's um so Hey, they've got the five, they released, of course, the five series uh, to much fanfare several uh, years ago, but it was like $10,000 plus scope, basically. And you lost it. It had a few little issues. A ridiculous performance, fantastic scope. But, you know, it had a, through a few tradability issues in terms of mixing the uh, logic channels with the analog channels. So if you wanted to add more digital channels, you had to sacrifice some analog channels, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, anyway, um, it was an impressive scope, but I'm not sure how it went uh, well in the market. I don't know. Maybe Tektronix can uh, tell us. But And then they released the higher end six series uh, scope. What was that? A, I don't know, a year ago or something. So guess what this one's going to be? Well, it's good to speculate, but it's also good to actually know exactly so we know this is going to be cheaper than the five series they've got some specials some dealers have some specials 20 percent off the uh 2000 series uh, the old tektronix 2000 series mso scope so is it going to be uh replacing those so yeah marketing of course are predictable they're going to continue along the series naming line so it's probably going to be the series one two three or four it's going to be less than the five because it's at most budgets and things like that doesn't make sense to put another the high-end one so it's going to be under the five series somewhere but how do we know well tektronics you might want to hide this a bit better because well let's go to the five series mso here and you try and google four series and you won't find anything three series you won't find anything but hey just put in the url is it the one series nope oops is it the two series nah can't find anything is it the Three series, eh, can't find anything. Wonder if it's the four series. Employee login. <laughs> you might want to hide uh, the name of your scope a bit better than that tech. Just saying. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's it's the four, new four series MSO. I have no other information. They haven't contacted me about it. I just decided to have a squiz, and it's obviously the four series. Uh, MSO. So anyway, I just wanted to have a giggle at that, at how easy it was to find the information here. So I'll link in the EV blog forum if you want to discuss the new Tektronics scope. It's not going to be a sub thousand dollar. I doubt there'll be like a sub thousand dollar option or anything like that. So like they'll obviously like have multi-channel versions of it uh you know probably from two channels up to six or eight or whatever it's going to be. So anyway, it's going to have more channels. What is it? More channels, what's their slogan? Yeah, more, what is it? More display, more signals, more usability, more choices, all that sort of stuff. So as I predicted with the original 5 series, the technology is now trickling down into the lower level series. And that's really good. I'm sure it's going to be in a very impressive new scope. I wonder if it does actually combine the digital and the analog. 
um, it would make sense for that uh, to be the case. So anyway, so the technology is trickling down to a lower end scope. I just wonder, there you go, it's the new 4 Series. I haven't, now that I know for sure what the uh, name of it is, I haven't tried to find uh, any further details on that. But whoever gets the data sheet first, whoever gets the data sheet, a pre-release data sheet or something like that with all the bells and whistles and uh, bonus points for uh, prices as well. Anyone who can get that, they win the internet. So there you go. Um, check it out on the forum. Yeah, like they asked 100 engineers, apparently, or hundreds of engineers. They interviewed hundreds of engineers, but they didn't go to the largest, biggest uh, test equipment uh, nerd forum on the internet and ask there. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah, you tech scope coming soon. Check it out. No, I don't have one. <laughs> but it's the four series. Catch you next time.